Hello everyone, it's Christy over at Crafty Christy's Creations, and today I have a print and cut hack for you. Um, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can use this hack, and we are going to learn how to print double-sided print and cut projects. So like I said, I've got two different examples for you. So without further ado, let's jump in and get started. So I've got a couple examples here and I've already got them set up and as you can see I've already turned on my registration marks. So this first example here is a print and cut card. So I've got this um, border here, this red border is going to be the border of the card. The blue line here is the score line and this autumn vibes is what's going to be on the front of the card. And then when you open up the inside is where we're going to have this little message. So in order to do this, the hack is, you know, you kind of have to figure out which way your printer works so that you can print on both sides. And then um, you'll put this on one side and then the saying will go on one side of the card. And then this autumn buys will go on the other side. So where this falling leaves little sentiment is going to be is actually when you open up the card it'll be on that inside piece so this is the front this part right here is actually the back of the card but this is going to be the same position that we need it in on the front so what we're going to do is I'm going to grab this entire design and I'm going to copy it so control and C to copy and then I'm going to come over here to new drawing so we're going to open up a new page and we're going to turn on our registration marks and I had to do a little extra inset for mine so I'm actually going to go back to our first one here and then I want to look at what my bottom inset is 0.875 so I'm going to make this new page match and looks like um, so we did 0.825 and then I'm gonna turn on my print and cut borders just because I like to have those as a reference point and then I'm going to paste control V and all of this I'm gonna group it all together so control and G and by the way, if you're interested in all these little keyboard shortcuts, you can grab those over at Crafty Christie's Creations forward slash keyboard shortcuts. By the way, if you're interested in all the little keyboard shortcuts that I'm using, you can get your own copy over at Crafty Christie's Creations dot com forward slash silhouette shortcuts and there you'll be able to print off a PDF with all of the quick keyboard shortcuts that I'm using and then some other ones that I don't use quite as frequently but it makes uh, working in silhouette a lot faster okay so let's get back to it I've gone ahead and copied the card here and then it's already grouped together and I just want to center it to the page and then I'm going to come back to my first design and I'm going to make sure that this is also centered to the page and it wasn't. So doing that helps keep everything in the same position as I make changes. So now on this first one, we're going to ungroup shift control G to ungroup. And I'm going to get rid of the sentiment because this is what I want to print on the front of my card. And then on the second one, we're again going to ungroup shift control and G, but this time I'm going to get rid of the front of my card. And because this is going to open up on the inside, it actually needs to go, I need to make sure this is, that this is centered. 
And let's go back to the first one and do the same thing. Looking at it now, the score line looks a little low, so I'm going to, you can just do this center to page, but I'm going to center it to each other. So I'm going to center left to right, the line center and a line middle, just to make sure it's in the right place. Okay, sorry, I'm kind of jumping back and forth here. We're gonna come back to this one. This is going to be the inside. Okay, so now with the words here, we're actually going to have to turn those upside down. So we can come over here to our replicate panel and I'm going to mirror it above. And then you can see that it's made it upside down. And I'm gonna delete this, the right side up one, and then I'm just gonna pull this down where I want it. And I want it to be closer to this end, so that way I still have room here to write my own little personal message. So now I'm gonna click on this again, and holding down the shift key, I'm grabbing the um, outline of my card and again, I'm going to align those um, middle. Oop. Control Z to undo, not middle. We want to align center. And now it's right where it needs to be. So then this is the second piece. Now we're going to go to the printer. And the first thing we're going to do is send this first page. Okay. And then once that's printed, we'll pull it out of the printer where the autumn vibes will be at the bottom of the page. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put it back into the printer and we're going to put this registration mark end in first, but down on the back side of the printer. And then we'll come to this page. And now that this is placed how it is, we can turn off the registration marks because we will not be cutting this side and then we can print this. Okay, so here in Silhouette, I'm coming up to my little printer button here and I'm gonna hit print. And it's gonna bring up my print screen. And I'm just gonna zoom out here to take a look at my print screen. And I'm just making sure that all my registration marks are within my print border, and they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and print hit print and this is the front side of my design we're going to hit print picking the correct printer we're doing one copy and we're going to print okay so here you can see when it printed the bottom edge here is the top edge of my paper so this rectangle here matches what's up here on the screen so what that means I need to do is I'm going to take this out of my printer. I'm going to flip it over. So now when you flip it over, you can see that rectangle is right there in the paper. And I'm going to put it back in my printer this direction. So the printed side is facing down. Now over here in silhouette, I'm going to come to my page number two and I've got it set up the same. I'm not making any changes to it and I'm going to hit print. Again, it's going to bring up my print page, and this is what it looks like, and it's going to print. So you'll notice on that printed page, it did not print any of the cut lines because those do not have a point value. They're not going to print, which is good. I don't want to print my cut lines. So now it's going to print over here, and it's going to print in the correct position on the back side of the page. So again, no registration marks needed on this part, and there it's printed on the back side, okay? Except the only problem is that it also printed backwards. So we mirrored the design, but what we forgot to do is mirror it left to right. So you need to mirror it upside down and then also left to right, and then it would print correctly. So now, when you look at it, I've got this part of my design here, and then this is here. 
So you can see when you go to fold the card, it's going to fold and be in the correct place. So now we're gonna flip it back over the correct way, and then we're gonna put it on our cut mat and get it ready for cutting. All right, so I'm looking here at my first, my front page that has the cut uh, registration marks on there. And then you'll see on my mat, I've got the arrow facing up and I've got this square in the top left corner. The same as what's on my screen here. And I'm gonna load this in to my silhouette. And then we'll look at what we're gonna do on the um, cutting machine screen. Okay, so over here on the sun panel, I'm going to my line, I'm going to cut by line color. And you can see I've only checked the red line, which is this line here that goes around our card. And then I've also checked the blue line, which is gonna be our score line. So I'm gonna leave the red line marked as cut, and then I'm going to change the blue line to score. And then I'm also going to click um, on this one again. We're gonna turn it on, but I'm also going to add a pause to it. So with it still highlighted down here, I can add a pause. And that's gonna give me time to change out my ratchet blade. So now I've got my cut settings correct here. I'm doing um, heavy cardstock, and then I can just come down here and hit send. And now it's just like a typical print and cut. typical print and cut first, it's reading my registration marks. And I will leave a link below to a video on how to troubleshoot reading your registration marks with your print and cuts. So it read all of those, and now it's thinking, and now it's gonna start cutting. cutting the border around my card. This is my pause, and you'll notice it says job complete, but this is just my pause where I can come in here and change my ratchet blade for my score line. I like to put it on zero, put it back in there, and then back on my screen, I'm gonna come down here, and now it's gonna say resume, and I'm gonna resume. And because the paper has not moved, it doesn't need to reread those registration marks. It's just going to continue cutting, or in this point, scoring. Okay, so now job is complete. We're waiting for it to go back to the home. And now we can unload. So now this is the front of my card. And then my saying is on the inside. So remember, we mirrored above to um, flip it around, but we also need to mirror our design um, to the right in order to make it read the correct direction. But that is how you can print on both sides of your print and cut uh, to make a design. So now to do the same thing, if we come back over here to our design, we would go through the same steps if you wanted to do um, a little clean dishes, dirty dishes, um, little print and cut. So now we can get rid of this. And then you're just gonna make sure you put them in the same position. So what I would do is I'm gonna take this design and I'm going to center it to the page. And then on, and then we'll copy this. So control C to copy. And then we're gonna go back to number two. We're gonna get rid of this. We'll turn our registration marks back on to make sure that everything is lined up in the same place. So same registration marks. I'm going to make sure that my bottom inset is still the same, and it is. And then I'm going to do Control v to paste my design. And then with it still highlighted, I'm going to center it. I'm going to center that design to the center to the page. Now, 
remember we need to we need to mirror it this time we don't need to mirror above we just need to flip the design over so I'm going to make a copy this direction we're going to delete this one and then this one here we're going to center to the page so the reason so in order for it to read correctly you would want to mirror left or right so that it reads correctly for the card we had to mirror upside down because of the way that the card folds. So that's the difference with that one. But those are two examples of how you can print on two sides for a print and cut. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Silhouette Studio tutorials. Until next time, with love, Crafty Christie.